During this series of videos, I have purposely not overlapped objects. Now we are going to see what happens when we overlap objects when we activate Mirror Merge tools. I'm going to use this same design and we'll keep it grouped to see what happens. Select the object and then click on the wreath. I'll keep the objects at 5 and move the mouse so that the center objects overlap. Click on screen to activate. Notice in color film the objects are not color sorted and are not merged into one object when they are grouped. I'll undo that and then select the design and right click and select ungroup. We'll repeat that same process. I'll select the design, click on the wreath tool, and overlap the green circles in the middle. This time I get a message, do you want to merge the overlapped objects? Let's click yes. The object in the middle is one object and not separate objects. The design is color sorted. This time we will choose not to merge. Select the design, select the wreath tool, and again click when the green circles are overlapping. Select no, and you see that the individual circles remain as individual objects with their own angle. Also, the designs are color sorted. Sometimes it is best to merge and sometimes not. If you want to have the same angle applied to a merge design and don't need to edit individual components, then choose to merge. If you wish to be able to edit individual components separately and maybe perhaps apply different stitch angles and maintain the original type of fill, then don't merge the object. Let's go to another object and let's say we wanted to use Mirror Merge Horizontal. When I click and the dialog box appears, let's click Yes. When I click on the design, it is one object and I can change that to a satin stitch and I have nice mitered corners at both of the points. Let's undo that and this time we'll choose not to merge. Once again, select Mirror Merge Horizontal, click on the screen, and select No. Each individual component can be selected. If I drag a bounding box around to select the objects and click on Satin Outline and zoom in, you'll notice that the outlines are separate and overlapped. So in this case, it's better to merge the object so that one continuous satin outline is created. You can choose either to merge or not to merge, basing your decision on what you need for your final design.